guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to film a high school Q&A because I've finished high school so I'm going to do a high school Q&A so if anyone is starting high school this year or going into like a year that I was in you'll get a good feeling from me JC and Casey did, just did this video so I got inspired by them so thank you so much JC and Casey and I took some questions off there but yeah so I've got my notebook with questions on that I'm going to read it out. High school Q&A, number one, what to wear. So what to wear is, when my high school I had to wear a set uniform every single day. But from non-uniform day, you get to wear anything you like on those days. But with, but every day where every high school uniform, a unif set of uniform to wear each and single day. So my roof consists of a shirt, a tie, blazer, trousers, socks, any socks and we were allowed to wear trainers before I left. It's black train all black trainers so that was good. So that was my outfit. And with the trousers it could be either trousers or knee length skirt. So yeah. Number two, is it hard to make friends? So, I didn't really have a lot of friends. I only had close ones at the time. And my two close friends were Destiny Saunders and Lily, R Lily and Rudd. Those were just my two closest best friends at the time. And it is hard to make new friends when you start new at school, but if you've already been in high school, it's easier. Yeah. Number three, were high school relationships worth it? Um, I did have a high school relationship, but now he's my ex, and I won't say his name for personal reasons, but he's now my ex, and it did heartbreak me, so... I think high school relationships in boyfriend sort of stuff is not good because it set you up for heartbreak. So just just enjoy high school and wait for college and that unless you find your high school relationship and that's great on you. So yeah. Number four. Are boys really as bad as people say they are? Yes. Boys are really bad as people say they are because one, they set you for, up for heartache, heartbreak and two, they just make you upset in general. So yeah, boys are as bad as people say they are. Number five, what was the best and worst part of your high school experience? So the best part were lunchtime, break time and i say the lessons because um because sorry about that because i in lessons because i was in a really special less class just just three people and the three people i knew so yeah one was my sister little sister summer then her friend charlie button also my friend at the time i'm still going to have a close relationship with charlie button because he's still my friend but um we were allowed to mess about, have a bit of a laugh in that. And then break time, I got to say, was a little boring at times. But then at the same time, I still had Charlie Button in summer with me. So we still had a good fun time. And then I got to say lunchtime was a good part as well because you got to eat some food. And the worst part was... The worst part was just getting told off by teachers and that, I would say. That was the worst part. But my experience with high school was great. So, yeah. Number six. How do I stay on top of my work slash assignments? So, if you get work slash assignments, you have to do it on the day. Because if you leave it to last minute, you are so unprepared for me. If like I had any homework or anything, I'd done it on the day so I don't forget. Or if I go out with friends, I do my work first and then meet up with my friends. So that's really good, just stay on top. 
have like have a desk and have a drawer full of your homework bits, pencils, pens, paper, have a drawer full of it so you can just do your homework. And this is the last question. Number seven. So in total there were seven questions. How do you not let good friends slip away? So with me, I had my friend Destiny and Lily Ann Wood and I kept just talking to them every time I would go into school, at break and lunch and see them in the corridor and then when I get home I would normally phone them or talk to them over like Snapchat, Messenger or something like that. So yeah, just keep talking to them, that's all you can do. So, Press that red subscribe button, press that grey notification bell and give us a big thumbs up. Bye.